We'll sniper. I mean, Azuma and Anti-Mail are two of the best snipers in the league, right? You have Stevok, who's been top 500 multiple seasons, you know, on that Winston. It, I mean, Falcons overall have a fantastic team comp, both from a mechanical skill level, and they've been playing with each other for so long that their communication is very clear in a lot of their plays. Yeah, I definitely would agree on that. And it looks like they're going to have... A, a much harder fight here on Car Wash. Dragon going up by himself, going to get d and taken out. And it looks like the rest of Bethel is just going to keep pushing down through the Car Wash while Falcons are going to start to keep anti mail up, keep anti mail damage boosted, keep anti mail shielded, and just let him and Zoom do so much damage. Yeah, and it looks like they're going to use this Pharah, kind of shift, in, sneak him into the back. Hopefully that, that the Pharah can take out this Bastion, but it looks like it looks like they're just gonna keep on on the dive trying to get on this bastion again. Yeah, a lot of damage coming out here with the nano boosted Schnark. They're gonna be able to clear some stuff out. Zoom managing to find Jet and email, of course, getting a couple picks there. Most importantly, Dragon's mech. It's not gonna be any diva bomb to try and set up behind him, forcing him to move either now. So yeah, and Zoom and anti mail just lighting up this kill feed. Um, you know they've now. Only committed support ultimates on the side of the Ludlow Falcons, feeling that safe in their gameplay. Uh, and they're just going to continue with this setup. And, you know, again, ultimate economy-wise, Ludlow Falcons have been doing a fantastic job. And it looks like uh, the, the the Wildcats are going to roll in here with four, almost five ultimates, get a pick onto Zoom, and they're going to just go in for the, the 6v5 dive. Yeah, and push so they can get a good sight on everyone. And know where everyone is yeah 30 seconds this is this is the do or die push right they need to find picks and duck getting picked off immediately at the start of the fight again is definitely not going to help their chances and email sitting on that bridge behind enemy lines searching for those supports he sees jet kind of contested mega best girl there jumping out forcing anti mail to back up but zoom getting two kills with the dragon there mega best girl and cg gaming falling and i just don't see them regrouping or getting on the point in time yeah an amazing hanzo ult coming out from zoom and then anti mail picking off Duck as he's walking out of spawn again means that he won't be able to use his Transcendence this game at all. Uh, dropping the D.Va ult for just good measure and hopefully it looks like the Ludlow Falcons will be taking map 1. Yeah. I mean that's, that's map 1 right? It just shows you the Falcons in the league are currently the team to beat I think right? From a mechanical standpoint they just play so well. Yeah, the Falcons, you know, they've been they've been scrimming even in the off season against really high teams, 3,000, 4,000 teams, and you know they're they're showing that they know their stuff, know how to group and play well with each other, and and it comes out, it really shows in their gameplay. Hey, one hundred percent. Yeah, and I, I was just gonna say, do you wanna do you wanna talk and give us a little bit of a breakdown on what you think's gonna happen to the next map, Lijong Tower, after seeing that uh, display? Uh, honestly, I I hundred percent will. <laughs> and of course, on the side of the Falcons at the moment, we have Stevok, we have Anti Mail, we have Snark, Zoom, Glacier, all at this point veterans of EGFH, right? They've, most of them have played in all three seasons that we've had so far. Yeah. They are, they're, they've been doing really well, and I've heard that, uh, that my man, uh, Okwiru, he, he used to be the, the captain, well, one of just, like, the coaches for the Ludlow Falcons, and he's now just stepping in to play for their team at, in place of their old main support, and it looks like they're gonna go dive, and they're gonna get this payload past the car wash really early. Yeah, no, getting this, getting this through the car wash extremely early is really, really important because it completely gets through that choke. They're not going to be able to have the shutdown with all of the ultimates coming out from Schnark and Zoom. So, yeah, I mean, an early push here, you always want to get this first point as quickly as you can, and they definitely got past that contested area. Yeah, and I really like the comp coming out of the Ludlow Falcons here. Double sniper, show, showing their strengths here, being able to get those, those picks throughout the entire game. And uh, dive, dive double sniper, it's something that we don't really see that often lately, so it's pretty fun to watch. Yeah, I mean, it's not going to, and we see the Diva Bomb coming out from Schnark here, trying to get them up there, but Duck isn't going to be able to get away in time there, does fall down to that Diva Bomb. We see, uh, I believe that was Axiomatic, yes, hunting down CG, he's going to be able to find that, so both of the supports on the side of the Falcons are going to fall. Jet 
immediately after here, and we see Dragon trying to contest something, but that mech's getting very low on HP. Yeah, I definitely want to see this Sombra do a little bit more in this game. It feels like she's always going stealth and kind of behind the enemy lines. And because of that, not being able to group up with the rest of their team. And and their Ludlow Falcons, because of that, without, with no grouping on the enemy side, able to kind of just push these first two points for free. Yeah, six minutes, or six minutes left on the timer and already pushed two points is fantastic. We see Stevic and Zoom both finding plenty of picks coming out there, though, which is definitely going to be... Quite a useful situation for them to be able to hold them back and just keep them going. Yeah, it looks like they're just pushing out, just leaving one sniper on the point while the rest of the team just advances forward, showing their dominance and their, their team coordination already. Yeah, we see the ultimate coming out from CG. We also see that bomb coming out from Sh uh, Dragon. It is going to find anti-mail. And Schnark's mech, so that means that we're not going to see a Diva Bomb uh, retort into that situation. The sleep on Stevic is going to be pretty important as he does fall there to Axiomatic. And they managed to clean out the fight fairly well and now start to stand their ground a little bit. Yeah, that Diva Bomb able to clear the Widow off of the point that she was just kind of standing there. First fight taken from the Bethel Wildcats and they just committed a Diva Bomb for it, which is really fantastic. Looks like they're going to have EMP and Dragon Blade for this next fight, so... Uh, hopefully, uh, Megu Best Girl will be able to get a pretty solid EMP out to, to disable this Winston and D.Va. Yeah, and we see Snark pushing up in the, in the front there with that D.Va bomb ready. They, they do get hacked, however, by Megu Best Girl, and the EMP comes out. It's gonna hit most of the, uh, Falcons there as we hear the Dragon out coming out from Jet. He's gonna be able to find one, but immediately get taken out by Stebuk along with, I believe, Zoom's arrow hitting him. We hear Glacier popping the ultimate, getting the res onto Zoom there, letting that hand zone now with the dragons be able to find a bit of a position. Aquero does have Nano, uses it. Try Who did Aquero use Nano on there? I didn't uh, actually see anybody Stevic. like that. Stevic got Nano there, it looked like. Uh, and getting that six-man hack, they played that really well, being Stevic able to kind of disable most of the back line there on the, uh, the Bethel High School side. And it looks like they're just going to commit another Diva Bomb to this and take out Axiomatic and push the payload to the end here. Yeah, that worked out extremely well for the Falcons. Yeah, even with a six-man hack at the end, uh, they were... <laughs>